Hi, I'm Jackie of Jackie Burns Creations. I'd like to welcome every single person here. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't glare on my glasses so much. But I am doing the collaboration of This Is My Thing. I haven't done it for a while because in January I had to have foot surgery and then my husband started getting really, really sick in February and he passed February 27th of pancreatic cancer. It was all very quick and very sad and very hard on me and I'm having kind of a difficult time, but I figured it's best to get to work and that keeps me going. And so I will show you what I did get in a haul from Dollar Tree, which I hadn't done for quite a while. And um, some Mother's Day gifts my son sent me, but I was out of town. And so I will show you now what they are. Okay, let's get to the haul. Okay, I guess first we'll start off with ribbons. These are Dollar Tree ribbons. And uh, I didn't get any of the lemon ones, but these are different. I hadn't seen these before. And of course, they're three yards. I like these blue ones and red ones. I have a patriotic um, video coming up on June 4th. And so I may use those in there. I did find two of these flowers, and I'll probably paint them. I think they're really cute. They could be hung on the wall or used as a candle holder or all kinds of things. I think you could even, like, bend these up. That'd be really cute. Probably my word of the day is cute. These houses... Got two a piece. This is like a whiteboard and this is like a chalkboard, but they don't have to stay that way. And also, they could be something done on the back side, so they could be dual crafty. And I got this, the buffalo check, and I got this with the pineapple. I think that's cute. And this with the watermelons. And I have a video coming up on June 20th, my birthday. And uh, it's going to be a sweet summer with fruit. Two uh, vinyl papers, permanent they say. Uh, this one I love with these flowers. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? And I was so lucky, I couldn't believe I found the beads. So these are the oblong beads. These are the round brown beads. It says 17 millimeters. This is the variety of beads, 125 count. Because sometimes I need really tiny ones and I don't have any. I do have still have some beads left that uh, Teresa B of Teresa B DIY sent me last year. The string and I never have found those. These are cute. They're square. And the one has an anchor, and the other one has a little sailboat. You don't have to use those if you don't want to. You can take them apart and put them with round beads and do all kinds of things with them. But I got three of those. These flowers are gorgeous. Just, just so summery. Let's see what it says on the bottom. Uh, just potted seven inch. I think they're so pretty. I'm going to set them back there. I found these rings. Pretty good for using to hang things. 
found these papers, which are awesome. Well, they're stick, stick on papers, wallpaper. Here's the weathered wood. Got three of those. This is a uh, wood. And I think I got two of those. And here's another wood. And I got, I think, two of those. Okay. Got these ferns. These are really cool ferns. And they, they come in a bunch. So pretty nice. over there with my flowers. Put some of the other things I got over here. I got this. This was in the crafting section. So hopefully they'll be having these things all the time. I think this is really cute. It lends itself to be painted. And this one, it's like a banner. That is. It actually bends like a banner. Like I say, these were in the crafting area. These weren't in the seasonal area. This was in the seasonal area. It's yellow and white uh, straws with uh, pineapples on them. Love it when they take their time and paint their wrap things for us. It's so nice. It still, it just helps cushion. Okay, look at these cute little things. This one would be good at a wedding or a party or something. But look, it's got the little. Look at this one. Aren't those cute? I love those. I love the way that sits up there like that. And these are bigger than the ones they had before, but you could write guest places on them. I'm sure you can order them by the bunch, but I think they'd be really cute at a wedding. And let's see. Okay. Yeah, here's the one I just love. Got these hanging, and I got this tray. And here are some pegboard hooks, adhesive rink. This is to hang it on the wall, and it just snaps in. Uh, this is a little tray. Some more pegboard hooks. Some more. And I got a couple of these. I think these are metal of the pegboards. Large square shaped pegboard. And they have some different shapes, some oblong shapes too. But I may go get some more of these. But the gal check them out since she hadn't seen them before. They must be new out. But these are ring hooks. Hmm. It's by Jot. Oh, yeah. The whole system's by Jot. Wow. That's super cool. Jot, you are amazing. You know what we need and what we want. I may hang this in my storage room or I may hang it out here in my craft room. Very excited about that. Okay, I went to Target also. And I, my son, he works for my daughter who's a caterer. I've probably told you that before. And he does all the grilling. So I got him these socks that say 
master of the grill, hamburger, hot dogs, three pairs, and they were three dollars, so about a dollar a pair. And I got this little tray. I think this is cute. If you want to take it off, it'd be easy to take apart and take the handles off and redo. It's metal. It's a little heavy. Oh, it's five dollars. And I got this. It's a folding tray, and it was five dollars. Let's take it apart and see how it works. Okay. Oh, there go the legs. Let the legs come out and make a great riser for plants. Keep them off the tables and marking up the tables. This would be really easy to cover with a napkin or to paint. I think I'd sand it a little bit if you were going to paint it because it's, it's pretty shiny. You can just get out your little handy dandy sander and go with the grain of the wood. Because if you don't and you're painting, if you went like that, it'd see swirls. But if you have an electric one, you could just go over it really quick, which I may end up doing. But oh my gosh, that is so cute. They had one that was square also. But I just got the one. I should have got both of them, but yeah, I have too much stuff now. So that is it for the haul. It wasn't a real large one. Okay, so these are called Drake Duck. Looks like they're from China or Japan. And that this is all the ones it gives you. And I think they're like an artist. Take off on an artist. Looks like that's Van Gogh on the front. And let me look. Yeah, looks like they're take off on artists. So that's probably why he got it for me. Because he knows how much I love art. I can't see what's in here. Oh. Well, I bet I know which one this is. It's got sunflowers. And it gives you a card. <laughs> In the picture, watering the flowers. Very cute. Looks like a Van Gogh. And what this is is paints. So you could stage it. I have little collectibles, uh, different artist collectibles that are cute like this. Yeah, I'll put it in with there. And also my Day of the Dead stuff. Oh, better keep the card. These, these hidden boxes, you never know. A lot of kids love them, but I know a lot of adults that love them, too. I know some people love the mini egg collectibles. And let me tell you about this collaboration. It's a bunch of people. And, oh, that's a ring. And it's put on by Maria of Yerta Creazioni. Hope I said that right, Maria. But she's a sweet lady. And uh, she's been doing this for a while. And I think she's making it an open collab now. Oh, 
Oh, I think this is the the one. Yeah, the lady with the pearls. And who was that artist? Yeah, I'll think of it. That's cute. I think there was a mirror in there somewhere, but he used a lot of mirrors and. Uh, Oh, that's cute. How's it supposed to stand up? Oh, maybe this goes in here. And this goes in here. Hmm. Well, that doesn't fit very well. Okay. I'll mess with it later. And the last one. Yeah, the other doll paint or artist dolls I have are stuffed, and they're from uh, Unemployed Philosophers Guild. They're cute. I have a Frida, and who's that? I don't know. And I have a. Monet and uh, Van Gogh. The Van Gogh his ears come off with Velcro. And uh, Andy Warhol. I had them a long time ago and had the whole collection of them, but our house burned down, so I lost all of them. But my kids gave me some last year. They're just so stinking cute. Okay, what? Now, what is this? Hmm. Anybody knows what artist that's supposed to be from? Let me know. But I'm not quite sure. I guess I'll have to research a little bit. It's cute. Not too much in English to let you know anything. So there they are. And I hope you check out the playlist and everybody's videos. We all do something different, and it's just kind of what we feel like doing that month. Sometimes we craft. Sometimes we just do a haul. Sometimes we cook something. It's just doing our thing for the day. Okay. I will see you all later. I'm so glad you came in and visit me. And if you feel up to it and you're new go ahead and hit my red button that's down in the corner and you will see my videos come up my channel's growing but that helps my channel to grow even more and i did get monetized recently so uh, go check my channel out thanks we'll see you later bye